So they'll be calling you a radical. More Papa John's. More freaking slave made clothing. More buy here, pay here. More freaking bad GMO freaking toxic food. Freaking becomes as natural as occupying a bird refuge. So the mutation, this incredible, incredible event, which I coined the Great Pacific Genocide when it happened. I said, the Great Salt Lake is going to go dry. Oh, is it? I was out there last. I lived there. You wouldn't believe it. I mean, it is so bizarre out there. Toxic's coming off there. The whole Western United States is on fire. The air quality is so horrific, and it's going to stay with this way. It's just going to get worse. I call the molded grapes of wrath. So the mutation situation, isn't it? No, no, no. Now listen to me. Now listen to me. I'm mutation by definition. I mean, I, my dad nuked to death from right here. Persanius, we freaking turn all these sacred, hallowed landscapes into... F Why? Why? Just more, 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 more. Obey, consume. The United States makes up less than 4% of the world's population. We're consuming 40%. Always been... No, it has not always been this way. So, in the Pacific Ocean, now we got whales breeding with dolphins. Now, why? Now, let me explain. As I showed you, those reef sharks dead in PB in San Diego, they shouldn't be there. The water's getting so fucking warm. Hot Watergate, Thelma's hot, Thelma's hot, the fucking earth's fucking burning. This is all nuclear, which I named, it's a plasma. I call, I told you from day one, Fukushima, when it happened, they're going to fucking lie, they're going to lie, they're going to lie. They're going to push the energy in the Pacific Ocean. It's a gas. It's a plasma. It's a plasma. Bringing star power to earth. That's what they did. That's what the fucking, the core of the sun, just like the fucking nuclear fucking core. And I'll talk about these lying propaganda scumbags at Westinghouse saying this is natural uranium. It's not natural uranium. There's nothing natural about it. It's fucking totally man-made. It's man-made uranium. The center fusion process they go through. Fuck, they release plutonium. PU's all man-made, Hulk. Fuck, where does Hulk live? Ferrigno lives right by Diablo Canyon. Well, what's that? Fucking nuclear waste stored all over. Killing you. Cancer rates off the hook. So now you're getting... The ocean's out of whack. So we got the salmon epic collapse. Epic collapse. This, the, right now in the Columbia River, we have 147,000 total salmon for the entire year. The spring projections, lowered ones, were 260,000. Oh, it's just the pasture. Radio fucking roundup. Hee-haw, fucking you've been out riding fences. Desperado. You fucking got no lows. You got no fucking highs. They've homogenized. They've pasteurized the American populace. The fucking demagoguery of fucking patriotism, of heroism. Fuck the. It's the ecology, stupid. So now we got whales breeding with fucking dolphins. Everybody thought that was all crazy. And there were people in Hawaii starting to say they could see them. They never seen anything. So they finally got one and freaking DNA'd it. Sure as shit. I mean, it's out of whack. I mean, this fucking... I'm telling you, so many people are going to die in the next fucking uh, 18 months right here in the United States. And I'll tell you why. Now, hear me out. Which I call these fires... They're, they're, these fires are erupting. Nobody's lighting these fires. They're just erupting. Because the atmosphere is that toxic. It's a plasma coming from Fukushima, which I named FUFU Fuktonium. You think that's all crazy? Livermore themselves, and I protested... Oh, fuck, I... I was so sick when I was protesting at Livermore. They chased me out of there. How about when I protested at the World Health Organization? That's right out of a fucking movie. Chase me on videos. Chase me on it. Put me on a fucking train. Last train fucking across fucking Lake Geneva. That's no shit. I mean, fuck. At the UN, at the I, I mean, you think about the historic work I've done and why everybody's gone after me. Because I'll tell you what. Because people can't get it through their mind. There's a guy like me. There's a fucking dude like me. They, they can't fucking. I do the work of 50 fucking. Uh, 500 men. I'm a walking, talking encyclopedia. I have an atomic nuclear fucking brain. They go after me. It's like somebody said yesterday, well, Kevin, nobody can handle this. Nobody can handle this fight. What the attacks you've been under, one critical condition, the whole cancer, nobody. Whatever the gods there be, it picked you. Talk about big shoulders and fucking strength. I think about it every day. And I've always been incredibly fucking. I have endurance. I have fucking strength. I have all this, but. This fight's pushed me to my limits? Not yet. They ain't fucking got me down yet. I mean, oh, sure, I get fucking down, want to quit, but I don't give up, so I'll be in fucking catching fucking Monday. 
fighting the nuclear monsters there trying to turn Idaho into fucking Hanford. So this mutation situation is going fucking insane. Now look, I want people to me to explain. I could sit there behind a camera in hairspray and be real homogenous and be pasteurized like you. Have no highs and have no lows, Desperado. Or I could be passionate, intense, radical, use art form, whatever. Now let's get real. The other way that I just spoke thereof, what a failure. No, I've used this method intentionally. There's a method behind my man. I know exactly what the fuck I'm up to. People act like they deny my work. That's okay. That's okay because it's embedded into their subconscious. My work is so deep in people's subconscious. I talked to, Rachel says she talked to the Channel 8 producer. She says, why won't you put Kevin's fucking work up? She says, I got to tell you, Rachel, his videos are so fucking, his stuff is so ground in my mind, I dream about it. Oh, I know what the fuck I'm doing. They met their fucking match with me, the nuclear energy crime. This fucking criminal derelict in South Carolina that's going around saying this is all, it's just natural uranium that burned through the fucking hole. Thelma's hot, Thelma's hot. Remember Nora fucking who made Silkwood in 1979? She got cancer the exact same time as me. I reached out to her. She got AML the same time as I did. Exact same time. She died. Huh. Here we got Meryl Streep has the chance to fucking do anything. She won't do nothing. Nobody's going to rock this fucking boat. You know, talk about a movie. Kevin Blanche, talk about the fucking epic. Somebody says, you know, it's like Dr. Burroughs. He's 95. Says, Kevin, you're the walking, talking historian. You, I mean, you're the fucking, on all this. He's been telling for you, you got to finish these books. You got to finish. And then I remember what he came to me. He says, you know, I finally figured you out. He's just, just like, he's 95. In fact, I think he's 96 now. He looked at me and he says, my whole career, whatever, I never seen nothing like you. I finally figured it out. He says, you are the fucking book. Oh, boy. I'm the book. I'm the fucking movie. I'm the fucking passion. I am the earth. I am the fucking light. I am the darkness. I am the fucking lightning. I am the wind. I am the fucking speck of Fuktonium fucking dust in the fucking wind. Because I'm connected to the fucking earth. You can pave over it because it's temporary. You can fucking overconsume because it's temporary like you. You know, you're willing to trade in your fucking passion, intense, beautiful fucking gift called life that they gave you. I was going in and out of a coma. I'm so happy that I got to fucking be alive. My little grandson yesterday, hadn't seen him for a little while. I mean, once half Mexican, you know, I mean, they're so good looking, beautiful fucking kids born days after Fukushima. I mean, these kids... Whitey, oh, you see them, they're so beautiful, it's unbelievable. They're geniuses. They call themselves brothers. And I says, well, he's half Mexican, yeah. I don't care. We're twins. We're twins. They got different mothers. They're a week apart, my two daughters. He says, Grandpa, you know, you really are a redneck hillbilly. I was waiting for this. He says, I was just sitting on the porch, waiting for this redneck hillbilly to come pick me up. And here you come, he says. I says, let me tell you something, boy. I ain't no redneck. I'm a beatnik. I'm a swamper. Born in the fucking marsh with the muskrats and the fucking blue herons and the coots. Oh yeah, that's fucking me in California on that marsh in San Diego and that marsh right here in Utah. This Weber County commissioner, who's not a commissioner, now he's head of the DNR, criminal derelicts. So I say this to all you fucking pieces of shit like him. That you use religion as a weapon. You use all this as a fucking weapon. You're a hairsprayed masquerade party with no passion, no highs, no fucking lows. I'll say this to you. You go ahead and you brand yourself in fucking history. You say this is natural. You go ahead and rape the fucking earth. Go ahead and brand because there's a new fucking genre out there. It's called fucking YouTube. And there's people, there's, you know, there's people like me. Brand yourself in history. You branded yourself in history and you will fucking be sucked into a black hole. Life is short. And cancer was going to attack you. And you're going to die so fast because you're weaklings and you're fucking cowards. I've saw it. You put so much cancer karma on you. Not only are you going to die, you're going to be sucked into a black hole called hell for time and all eternity. That's a long fucking time. For the light, it shines inside of me. You will never take that away from me. I have a tale to fucking tell. The mutations in the sea, the fucking ecology so out of fucking whack. It's going to kill you. Don't you see that? It's going to get, you can obey, you can consume, you go along with this fucking militarism, heroism, fucking fairy tale, all you fucking want. Rape the ecology, fucking God's will, God's will, I'm going to heaven. No, you're going to fucking hell for your bare false witness. You're fucking out of whack. You are not connected to fucking anything. 
We are all just a fucking blade of fucking grass. We are a fucking leaf on a fucking natural tree. Not a fucking palm tree. They're fucking fake. No. No. We're cypress on the Monterey Peninsula. We're fucking some grease fucking oak on the fucking ancient lake floor in Utah. We're a fucking blue spruce and fucking the hyenas. That's what we are. That's all we are. We're the cougar. We're the fucking... My daughter says, my granddaughter, that beautiful thing, she says, Grandpa, I ran the psychological profile on you. I plugged everything in. Your spiritual, natural animal is a bear. And I says, oh, yeah. We're a grizzly fucking bear. The beautiful creatures. That's all we are. So you can be a fucking, you can be a fucking... You ain't even a snake in the fucking grass. You're a fucking mutated fucking bug, a fucking worthless bug that needs to be done stomped. That's what we need to do to all these fuckers. Put the nuclear waste in their fucking basements. These propagandists, you want to turn fucking Idaho, that fucking jam? You want to turn Utah? You want to turn New Mexico? You want to turn fucking New York? You want to turn it all into toxic hellhole fucking unnatural, unconnected fucking nuclear fucking shitholes for these fucking pieces of shit? And the next person that tells me that I'm okay with the technology, just not in fucking nuclear energy plowshares, well, you fucking rats. Talk about fucking rats fucking putting karma on themselves. And they do it in the name of religion. Nuclear energy and nuclear bombs are one and the same. One and the same. Thelma's hot. Thelma's hot. Thelma's fucking hot fucking doing the neutron to fucking dance. You think it's all a cliche. You think it's all a cliche till you go into that bone marrow transplant center with fucking cancer. Because I've watched these weaklings. These propagandists. You know how many of these fucking karma propagandists who fucking covered up? You know how many of them are dead? Oh, I've been keeping track. i got a fucking list. <laughs> and I've been in there. I'm head of the support group. They die so fast, make your fucking head spin off. <laughs> because they're fucking weaklings and they're cowards that go along with the fucking winning team. Not me. I fight for her. She fights for me, the ecology. It's that simple. And everybody's fighting cancer. Thank you, everybody who supported this historic work. Without you, I couldn't do it. I really, I mean, I can't say how much you mean to me. There's been a lot of people that did a lot of things for me while I was fighting cancer. It's been seven years, almost seven years. You know, I had my chest split open, my gallbladder. I mean, what it's done financially, all that fucking, but whatever. I have my life. This fucking plutonium gas is going to kill so many fucking people. The Great Salt Lake's letting off toxics that, I mean, millions of years. It's that low. Oh, it's just we're taking all the water? Well, that too, but it's, it's hot. It's fucking hot. It's evaporating down to nothing. The dipoles pools are fucking dead. The salmon are in collapse. The fucking place we're getting these fucking spontaneous fires erupting all over. Fucking the toxins that are going into the fucking air. You don't even know what the fuck they are. They're toxic. Where are you going to go hide? I mean, that was the plan, right? John Holdren, fucking a bee, fucking Putin, fucking Trump, Obama. Fuck. Same old theme, 1916, on nuclearism. The fucking nuclear imperialists are back. They're imperialists and fucking... They're taking this fucking earth with them. And you religious fuckers that say it's God's will, the Mormons, the evangelicals, all you people that say that it's God's will, oh, you're going to fucking hell. And I'm here to tell you, sure, so many of these propagandists that went along are going to die in the next few fucking months. I'm here to tell you. Because I tell you what, if you don't think my credibility for Cassandra and Hamlet had a baby, and Kevin Blanchett, go play back the tape, Your Honor, play it back all the way. You think about the things I've predicted. I want you to go back. Fuck, I was thinking about it last night. Staggering. Economically, environmentally. Go back through. Fuck. Whoa. It's amazing. Where I see for miles and fucking miles. Stand tuned.